Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add columns to folders as well as subfolders on your Windows computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's just say for example we have a folder view, so let's just say in our users folder and we want to add a new section. So this is definitely pertinent if you have a lot of music on your computer or you have songs here. So actually let's just go underneath music here just as a better representation. And let's say you want to add a new column in here. All you have to do is just right click along the column line here. And then you can add or remove different columns as you see fit. So if you want to add a day modify tab you're welcome to. And if you have any subfolders within this music folder, so let's say you have folders within folders, and you want to apply the same view to those folders too, you can go ahead and select the View tab, and then select Options on the right side. You want to select the View tab within the Folder Options window here, and then select where it says Apply to Folders. So it's going to apply to all folders within this music folder in my case here, but it would apply within whatever folders you select for your instance. So it's going to ask you want all folders of this type to match this folder's view settings. Select yes. And then once that's done, select OK. And if you had any folders within here, so let's just go create a new folder just for argument's sake here. And I double click on this new folder, you can see the same columns appear in here in the containment folder as they do out in the main folder here. So pretty straightforward process here guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.